Good afternoon and welcome back to Girded with Truth. Thank you so much for joining us today and we begin a new series. Last week we talked about when life gets difficult and we ended off by talking about being still. So today, as we are still, we want to understand certain principles and commissions that God has given us. Today we're talking about the Great Commission. So in the Great Commission, the most pronounced thing is the aspect to get up and go. And that is what we'll be talking about today. Mark chapter 16 verse 15 says, And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Now this is a commission. This is not just for the pastor, the preacher, the leader, or those in prominent positions. This is talking about everybody. So all of us has a responsibility to preach the gospel. Acts chapter 26 verses 16 to 18 says, But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. So here God is saying, preach the gospel at first, but then he's saying, rise and stand on your feet. So he is saying, get up and go. Get up and do this great commission that I have given unto you. He said, this is the reason why he appeared unto disciples. And that was him talking to the original disciples. But here, he is also speaking to us because we are disciples of God. The moment we accept Christ and he begins a work in us, we begin our journey to become disciples. And when we have become disciples of God, he has beckoned us to fulfill this great commission to get up and go. And he said he has made us ministers and witnesses. Before you get into the argument that the minister is the pastor, a minister is really a servant of God. And we are all servants of God. Joshua was Moses' minister. So he was not Moses' preacher or pastor. He simply served Moses. And that is the aspect that God wants to bring out when he's talking about pre preach the gospel. He just wants us to understand that this is service unto him. Preaching the gospel and being witnesses is part of our service unto God. And he said that there are, there are two ways to do this thing. One of the ways is the things that you have seen but the other one is the encounter with God. So God is basically telling you, you will see marvelous things, but you will also have a testimony. So even as we spoke about a difficult life last week, God is saying in the difficulty of life is where you get your testimony. So when you have come forth out of a difficult life, you have testimonies that you can tell unto people and then you are witnesses that God is living, he's active, he is able to deliver anybody because you have testimonies of the goodness and the faithfulness of God in your life. So God is saying, preach the gospel, minister to people, tell them about his goodness, but give your testimony. A testimony is very important because it is literal power of God in action, changing and transforming your life. The word of God saves lives. The word of God is the power of God unto salvation. So today, if you don't have salvation, all you have to do is ask God to come into your heart. Use his word over your life. 
Find a Bible-believing church that can help enrich your spiritual life and continue to pursue God in every way. And he says, when we do these things, we will deliver others that their eyes will be open. They will turn away from darkness so they will do evil no more. They will pursue God. They will be changed and transformed so much that... They will come out of Satan's kingdom into God's kingdom. They will come out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light to be used by God. But it started off by saying, this is the purpose he appeared unto you. So you are not saved just to make it to heaven. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but God appeared to you so you can minister and be a witness so today i'm encouraging you to get up and go get up and go to your neighbor get up and go to your friend get up and go to your colleague get up and go to another country but whatever you are doing you must fulfill this great commission so i am beckoning you today i am urging you today get up and go be ministers and witnesses unto God. This is the reason he appeared unto you. He gave you an encounter with him. He called you into his kingdom so you can get up and go. So today, I really, really encourage you to fulfill this great commission. And he said that the people will receive forgiveness of sins. So, you were once forgiven of your sins and God is saying you must also want others to be forgiven of their sins and we will all receive the inheritance of faith that is in Christ Jesus. So today, I just want to encourage you in everything that you do, fulfill this great commission, be witnesses unto God, but first, in order to do all of this, you must get up and go. Thank you so much for listening. Have a wonderful afternoon. Bye.